you get them? How'd you get them? Way up north in a house that's new There were boys, me, your big feet and you From your ankle up, I'd say you sure is free From that down, you just too much feet Your feet's too big Don't want you cause your feet's too big Can't you use you cause your feet's too big I love you cause your feet's too big been driving me crazy all afternoon. Now, uh, uh, I need a break. I'm going up to the loft to try out my new earphones, okay? See if you can keep them out of mischief for a nanosecond. Sure, Dad. Come on, big guy. Let's play some pool. That's my stereo. Cool, isn't it? Dad gave it to me for getting an A in math. A lot of long division went in that box. We'll see how it works. Yeah, I gotta move your butt. The Don't be scared. Yeah, I gotta move your butt. Say, There's no one in there. It's a tape and it makes music. We dance to it, see? Check this out, see? Come Yeah, we move your butt. You got it! Oh, boy, you look cool! Totally cool, yeah, Harry! <laughs> the big guy. Come on. I don't dance with lower life forms. <laughs> oh yeah? Then what do you call that Martin Newtz? <laughs> you are a waste of skin. <laughs> Boy, I hope you don't have any sisters. No, don't do that. Hey, give that back to me. Give that back. Harry, you broke my stereo. How could you do that? Can't you be more careful? Oh, I hope I can fix it. That was very bad, Harry. Very bad. Ah, ah, oh, Harry, what are you doing here? Give me that. Harry! Harry, come on! This is my law. Get out of here. Come on. So he stood up in front of the entire assembly, and you're gonna die, Julie. His fly was open. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. Ugh, who'd want to anyway? I mean, he's the school principal. Ugh. <laughs> hey! Hey! You're smushing my homework! No, no, not you, Julie. I I'm talking to Har... Ernie. I gotta go. I'll call you back later. You are invading my space. Shoo! Shoo! Oh, Sarah, what's the problem? He lumbers around here, smushes my homework, sits in the wrong places, and smells bad. Get out of here! Shoo! Shoo! Oh. oh, Harry. I don't know if you were ever a teenager. But you can't take anything they say personally. They're very emotional. I am not emotional! <laughs> See?
this. Go on, please. Oh, <laughs> what happened? No, let me take a wild guess. Starts with an H, ends with an Ari. Hey, <laughs> can't you disappear somewhere? Hmm? Yeah, go on, get out of here. Ow! <laughs> He's a wild, irrational animal who's not fit for civilization. <laughs> What's going on? Harry's doing something in the loft. Well, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going to stop it. Wait, Dad. You could be in a mysterious Bigfoot ritual. It's called wanton destruction. <laughs> oh, it's a garbage dump. Nancy, he's turned my loft into a landfill here. Don't look at me. I'm not cleaning it up. <laughs> I've reached my limit. What, were you raised by animals? This is an outdoor plant, you creep! <laughs> driving me crazy! Crazy! What a big pain in the butt! And the Hendersons is brought to you in part by Mounds and Almond Joy. Because sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut. I'm going to call the police. No, Dad. Don't call well, the Ernie, police. Ernie, I have They're no choice. Him. He's out of control. He's totally unpredictable. He even threatened you. He didn't mean it. Honey, we don't want Harry to get hurt either, but he could be dangerous. Hello, this is George Henderson. Is Officer Perth on duty? So, when I heard it was my favorite family calling, I told the sergeant I just couldn't wait to get here. Hey, we really appreciate that, Officer Perth, because this is a matter of some, well... Delicacy. Delicacy. Oh, yeah. Like the last time you thought you saw a big, hairy monster in your backyard? <laughs> okay, what is it this time? Big, Big hairy, hairy monster. monster. <laughs> Boy, you folks sure get the most out of your tax well, dollars. Officer Perth, now this is really urgent. I don't know how else to say this, but, uh, well, we had a... Bigfoot living in our house. Yeah, and his name is Harry, and he's my best friend, but now he's run away. You need to find him because he was really angry when he left here and he could hurt somebody. He even grabbed the phone out of my hand. Yeah, but mostly he's just the sweetest living creature you'd ever hope to meet. Yeah. I mean, except for what happened today. So you all say you had a Bigfoot living here? Yeah, yes. Yes. You know, down at the station, we have a pamphlet. It's called The Dysfunctional Family. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Officer, we really appreciate that kind of psychological insight. I really, I do. But uh, it's not a question so I'll much get of it. our... Samantha! Uh, Officer Perth, let's keep this to ourselves, all right? Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't mention this story to anyone. <laughs> George, I saw a police car. What is going on? Actually, Miss Glick, nothing is going on. A whole lot of nothing. Look, these people are having some mental difficulties. I'm going to make sure they get some help. <gasps> what a sensitive thing for a policeman to do. What an absolutely 90s story. Look, Samantha, this is our cop. Get your own cop. I'm available for an interview. How about tomorrow? Great. And I've got the perfect angle. 
on the surface, cough, yeah. but underneath, the tender, quivering soul of a woman. <laughs> Actually, tomorrow's kind of full. Why, why don't I call you? Okay. Good night, folks. Good night. when my dad called the cops. You called the cops? If they see him, they'll shoot him. Well, I was really worried. I mean, he's eight feet tall and angry. Somebody could get hurt. Mr. Henderson, with all due respect, if he was going to tear anyone to shreds, it would have been you. Well, you didn't see him. He was on a destructive rampage. I mean, take a look for yourself. Okay, I'll look. But I know Bigfoot, and there's no way he... Oh, my God. You have no idea what you've done, do you? What we've done? Well, it's... It's like, um... Imagine you're out of town. You're in a strange place or something, a hotel. What's the first thing you do? Uh, swipe the little bottles of shampoo. George, you always said that you put out pictures of me and the kids. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You try to feel at home, to feel secure and safe. That's what Harry was doing with your furniture. It's, it's amazing. He was recreating his own environment. Right, like he's got an off-white nubby couch in his forest. No, no. He was constructing a place for himself with the only things available. Building his nest just like the, like the tiny sparrow. <laughs> Give or take a few pounds. So what you're saying is that we made him feel unwelcome. So he ran away. Well, yeah, that's what I think happened. I shouldn't have yelled at him. Dad, we gotta find him. Oh, oh, the big three oh. Right now, order a large Domino's pizza at regular price and get a medium for 30 cents. It's a limited time offer. Oh, oh, the big three oh. First with plaques. Normal, everyday brushing takes on a whole new meaning. Plaques, clinically proven to remove more plaque than brushing alone. When you're a... I followed the foothills all the way up to the tree line. There's still no sign of him. He didn't come back here either. I thought for sure he would come here if he knew I was waiting. Well, your mom and I checked all the parks. Oh, yeah. At one o'clock in the morning, there's nothing there but people making out. Mother, they don't call it making out anymore. Oh, really? What do they call it? Um, how should I know? <laughs> I should have come with you guys. I could have found him. I think like a Bigfoot. Oh, Ernie, come on. Wait, he might be onto something here. I mean, Ernie relates to him on a, on a very special level. Honey, you want to try a little experiment with me? Sure, Mom, if it'll help find Harry. Sit down here, get comfortable. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and just kind of let your thoughts float freely. My mother, Shirley MacLaine. Yeah, give her a chance, Sarah. I mean, your mother's very good at this out-of-the-body stuff. I mean, last night she transported herself to Europe, saved me a bundle on airfare. <laughs> All right, honey, concentrate on Harry, and really get a picture of him in your mind's eye. I can see him, Mom. Good. That's good. All right, let the picture just kind of come to you. See that it's Harry and he's lost. He's lonely. He's hungry. He's scared, Mom. Real scared.
it. Hold it right there, pal. Jeez. Uh, all right, stay back, you. Stay back or I'll shoot. I said, hold it. Just leave the stereo there. Super Sonic. blue sock I lost last week? I found it yesterday, right under this very couch. Who cares about your old sock? I want Harry back. Yeah, I know you do, son. But even if he never comes back, you've had an experience that's changed your life forever. That's something to be thankful for. You don't really care. You never liked him anyways. No, well, I know I was never his biggest fan, but I... I can honestly say I'm lucky to have known him. Yeah, we were lucky, weren't we, George? <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Good news never arrives this time of night. Officer Perth. I'm afraid I've got some upsetting news about your Bigfoot friend. Oh, Ernie, I'm real sorry. Seems he likes rap music. Harry! You're back! You're back! I can't believe it! Oh, look, he brought you a present, Ernie. Oh, thanks! This is a lot better than the one Dad brought me. Oh, yeah. You get a present, too. $800 for a stereo? And a plate glass window and a strobe light and an alarm box. What did he do, rob a store? Yes, he did. <laughs> and I was going to shoot him until he talked to me. And then we danced. <laughs> he led. Outstanding! Well, now i got to go figure out what to say in my report. You're not going to tell them about Harry, are you? Well, that all depends on what you're going to do with him. Well, the minute his wound is healed, we're returning him to the forest. Okay, saves me a lot of paperwork. Wait, you gotta swear you won't tell anybody about Harry. I swear, okay? That's not enough. You gotta make a sign. I know. The sign of the H. For Harry. No, that's not an H. <laughs> it is in sign language. Oh. <laughs> now, I swear I will not tell anybody about Harry. I swear I will not tell anybody about Harry. And if I do... And if I do... My bones will push through my skin and my eyes will drop out of my head. I swear, okay? I didn't have to take an oath this big to become a cop. <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. I still think he'd be happier in the garage. Oh, honey, you can survive without your loft for a couple of days. Yeah, Dad, he'd do the same for you. Yeah, how do you know? Remember? I think like a Bigfoot. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Of course he is. Every living creature deserves his own place. <laughs> Honey, you remember what we did with Ernie the day we brought him back from the hospital? Oh, put him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I spent my first night on Earth in the bathroom. No, yeah, well, your nursery wasn't ready yet. Your dad hadn't converted his dark room for you. Yeah, well, I had to give up a hobby, but gained a son. Mm. Best trade I ever made. You remember that wallpaper you put up? Oh, with the little, the little yellow buses, buses on it, with the wheels? On the, the bus wheels on the bus. Go round and round, round and round. and round. You guys must be real tired. Yeah, we are. Time to hit the hay, Ern. Uh, I'll be down in a minute. Good night. Harry? Glad you're okay. Do me a favor, big guy. Don't ever run away again. Because when you're gone, I really miss you. Oh, you want music? I'll play some of Dad's. 
It'll put you to sleep. <laughs> Night, Harry. Don't bite the bed bugs. <laughs> Attenzione! Give your hamburger an Italian accent. With Chef Boyardee Hamburger Italiano. Dinners you make with hamburger for an authentic Italian taste. Chef Boyardee Hamburger Italiano. Manja! Oh, I've got the worst cold a human being ever had. And about a NyQuil. I could take these, but I'd still be up all night coughing. What am I gonna do? Can I borrow a cup of NyQuil? <coughs> Once you know what NyQuil can do, nothing else will do. How do they know the dance is Friday? Hi, this is Jeff Fox from 98.7 KISS FM. And this is Ken Webb. And we know that New York's young people have got a lot to say about sex, crime, and growing up. What are their fears and expectations? What's on their mind? Hear it from the kids themselves. Watch In Full Effect, a show about teenagers. Monday night at 8 on Fox 5.